Hi folks, this is Don Shank with Red Hat. I wanted to talk to you today about the NuGet repository and your project.json file. And a little debugging tip that helped me. As you see here in my project.json file, I have the Microsoft.diasim reader set to version 107. I'm going to change that using IntelliSense I can go down and see all the different versions that are available I'm gonna pick this one just randomly I'm gonna save the file and then I'm gonna hop over to terminal do a dotnet restore and watch what happens because it's the latest and greatest I think it's built using dependencies of RC3 and I can't find them so that broke so what happened well, if I go over to NuGet and look at that same Diasim reader, I could scroll down to the bottom and you can see the different version history. Ah, look here. The latest stable version is 107. So if I go back to a code and change it to 1.0.7 and save that file and go ahead and run my .NET Restore again, this time it works. So that's just a little tip I want to give you to help you when you're debugging. Uh, it can be confusing at times, and this might help. This is Don Shank at Red Hat with Red Hat Loves.net, and please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more episodes.